Hey, how's everyone doing there today? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Um, this will be a haul video. I did receive a few uh, Blu-rays through the mail, and it's a decent stack. I got about six new Blu-rays to the collection, so I uh, hope everyone's doing well out there, staying safe. And let's get this Blu-ray haul going here. And I ordered a couple of Blu-rays from a Diabolic DVD that came in today. I still have some more. Um, more stuff coming in that's on the way from Diabolic DVD, so I'll be showing those later as soon as I get them. Let's start off with the ones I received today. Um, I did receive Red Let Letter Day. This looked like a crazy movie. I saw the trailer. Some about na neighbors going crazy and trying to kill each other or something like that. And I, haven't, I haven't seen this film, but it looked like a crazy film. Crazy and entertaining film. And I, I like this slip. This was the alternate cover art, and I liked it because it's like a comic style. And it has the back there. I like the art on this. Not too many special features. It has a making of documentary and filmmaker commentary. It says, a fun-filled take on the kill thy neighbor idea. It feels like an American Twilight Zone episode on steroids. Wow. This one looked like a pretty entertaining, uh, and I cannot speak here, excuse me, entertaining film. It's a Red Ladder Day. It's from Dread. I believe Dread Central. Nice addition there. Next up we got another one I got from Diabolic DVD. And this is a Scream Factory. It's a Exorcism at 60,000 feet. It says Flying Can Be Hell. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This looked like another one of those off-the-wall crazy films. You could just tell by the title. Exorcism at 60,000 feet. Just sounds ridiculous. And a good cheesy fun time but yeah this, this is a screen factory um the cast is what sold me on this more than anything as you see the inside this was the original cover art that it comes with but i i flipped it to this one because i like that art better this is the original it comes with but look at that cast and this has some legends there yeah bill mosley adrian barbeau and lance Hen hendrickson just a great cast in this film so i'm excited to check it out any of you guys have seen these films please don't give me spoilers but let me know if they they were good or anything it's exorcism at 60,000 feet next up we got from scream factory i did a order from scream factory they had a little sale going on and i received two of them last last week and now they sent me two of them this week they sent them separate i didn't understand that but oh well so i got my second shipment in here from that cell so here's the first uh, blu-ray it's curse curse to the bite um this is going out of print so i wanted to pick it up before it goes out of print really enjoyed these films i've seen them they're a lot of fun and i'm trying to get as many of these double features as i can because a lot of them are going out of print so i'm trying to pick up every now and then as many of these as i could get and yeah this is a Double dose of 80s horror. These are fun films. And Screen Factory always has, always has nice additions. You can see it has some picture art on the inside. I'm excited to revisit these films. It's been a while since I've seen them. I remember enjoying them. It's Curse. The Curse and Curse to the Bite. Screen Factory. Next up, I got a Shout Select. This is a movie I've been after for a while. Um... I owned it on DVD, but I never had the the Blu-ray or anything like that, so I'm glad to upgrade it a Blu-ray. And this is a Shout Select of Roadhouse with Patrick Swayze. This is my favorite Patrick Swayze film. Just love this movie. Grew up watching it. This is a nice addition from Shout Select. And has a lot of uh, special features on here. This movie's just a lot of 80s cheesy fun, man. And Patrick Swayze's a man on this. is Dalton. There's some art as you can see on the inside too. Shout Select does these these additions right, man. And Screen Factory. You can see from a famous fight in the film on the inside. I'm excited to watch this film again. I hope the transfer is good. I'm sure it will be. Roadhouse from Patrick Swayze. Next up we got another one. I found this on eBay. 
the slip cover for a pretty good price it's a new film that's out the lodge looked interesting on uh, on the trailer it has a nice winter setting in it i like horror films like that it says scary as hell the next great horror film is here it just looked like a pretty interesting movie i'm a sucker for winter horror settings in a winter horror settings i'm pretty much a sucker for those so pick them up same with the slip cover as well as the same art not much on there um it does have a digital code which i'll be giving away in a few the lodge see there and that's pretty plain on the inside yeah this movie seemed interesting so here's the digital code whoever gets it first it's yours here we go digital code for the lodge it's yours whoever gets it first man good luck next up we have this is my last pickup been after this film for a while this girl house um i uh, saw the uh horrific nightmares jm jason was uh talking about this film and saying how much he enjoyed it and i enjoy it as well i think this is an underrated horror film it's been a while since i've seen it but really like this film man it's a great one i like the killer in this film this is a asian edition but it does have english language you can see the English version on and off. This is a cool slip cover too. Slip case. Slide. It's one of those slide ones. It slides out like that. It has a same art on the disc and then it has some inside art as well. Let's see from the film. I'm excited to check this one out again. I haven't seen it in a while. Like I said, Jason from Horrific Nightmares JM gave a good recommendation on this film, and I've seen it as well. And I agree with him 100% that this film is is a good good slasher film. I'm ready to check that out. So let me give you a quick recap on the films I got there. Hold on a second while I put them in order. I got Red Let Letter Day. Exorcism at 60,000 feet. The Curse and Curse to the Bite. Roadhouse. The Lodge. And Girl House. So that's my latest haul. Would appreciate you guys uh, hitting like and subscribe, comment as well. Let me know if any if you've seen these films, if any of them are good. I know I've the only ones I've seen out of here are Curse One and Two, and Roadhouse, of course, but and Girl House. But the other ones I haven't seen. So uh, please, no spoilers. But let me know if they're good or not. I hope everyone's doing well out there. Staying safe. This is Undead Nightmare Twenty Four. Please hit a. Like and subscribe, comment as well. I think I just said that. Have a great day out there. Great week. Take care and keep it horror. Peace.